Joshua and Lydia, you have experienced that closeness and you desire to commit fully to each other despite the conditions. Yo, what's up, everybody? This your man, Chris Thorne. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, whenever you're watching my content, as always, um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, <coughs> I really don't know um, how to start this off. Uh, I seen somebody uh, who follows me. Um, had this post on a page and to be honest y'all I didn't even see the whole video I just seen what it said and uh, I ain't even lying man. my eyes got a little watery um, when I saw that she was a cancer patient and got married that's all I saw I just, and when I saw that I said you know hey bro I'm surprised you don't have more likes or any kind of reactions on this uh, video that you have. And, you know, he said to me, uh, <clears throat> he said, you know, he really just, in so many words, he just said he really just don't look for stuff like that. You know, he don't rely on that. He just posts stuff that he feel like needs to be posted. And he posted, you know, and uh, however it goes, it goes from there. So, you know, uh, uh, salute to that brother for that, you know. At least that shows me, you know, he just not posting up stuff just to get some attention. You know, he posted up because I guess he believes um, in his heart that stuff like this should be posted up just as well as I do. But uh, <clears throat> like I said, when I first seen it, I got a little choked up on it because, of, you know, like the meme says right here, love has no labels. And that's absolutely right. Um, known each other for a year. They became best friends. And uh, for what I read, one part of, you know, that was one of her dreams to marry this guy, you know. And it happened. But see, I didn't see the whole video. I did not know she passed away. So when I was just playing it then, you know, my eye got a little watery again. And then you see where it says she died up in his arms. That's um sad. But it's beautiful at the same time because she had one of her wishes granted before she passed away. And you know what? And I can imagine she died a happy woman, you know. Um, 
And for this man to sit here and not judge this woman for her condition, he felt the same about her as the same she felt about him. And they were so much in love with each other that he was willing to make this make this happen for her. I'm trying to uh, hold my composure as I do this because this is sad. You know, I don't I don't give a shit what race you are. This is sad to have something so beautiful like this. Oh, shit, have something so beautiful like this to happen in your life, and two days later, not a year, not a month, or whatever. Two days later, you your soulmate passed away. Not only they passed away, but they passed away in your arms. I can imagine how that shit feels. I never had nobody passed away in my arms, but man, but <clears throat> not just that in your arms. To have somebody that you just married, period, to die all like that. Two days down the road, you know. Now, some say, you know, well, he knew what he was getting into when he married her, you know. And and, and I I, I can agree with you on that when you say that. I, I, I can agree with you when you say that. But, again, I want you to look at what this thing right here says. Love has no labels, you know. Um, so, there was something in this young man's heart. You know, that made him want to go through this, even though he knew that she probably had very much long to live. Or maybe he thought she did have long to live. I mean, I, I don't know. You know, I wasn't there. I don't know what all he knew about her condition or all what was going on with her condition. I just know this was beautiful and it was sad at the same time, you know. And, and I always preach this, y'all, you know, to see something like this go down. You know, to have somebody in her condition to get married. And you look at some people who are well and hefty that can't even keep a marriage. You know, as soon as they get married, you know, they turn around and break up just like that. Celebrities do it all the time. I forget what celebrity couple they were. They had just got married. I think, shit, a week later, they was getting a divorce. I say, now, you know, that's the waste of fucking time. That's really a waste of fucking time. So they get married and get divorced that fast. I want to say it was Britney Spears. I don't remember who it was, but I know they had got married. And a week later, or well, I might even got that wrong. A week later or a month later, you know, they turning around and get a divorce. And I was like, you got you got to be insane. But the thing about it, though, the, the public treats something like that. They look at it and just brush it on off. Don't nobody say nothing about it. You know, uh, but if it's somebody regular like me or you or not, and that was to happen, you know, we get shunned and we everything but our name and everything in between. <clears throat> but, you know, I guess we got that money. You can get away with a lot of shit, preach. You can't. Um... So the best thing I can just go. Uh, shit, I'm still getting tongue tied, y'all. Excuse me. All right. The best thing I can just really say about this, looking at this, you know, I mean, I do believe now when they say, you know, there's somebody out there for everybody. There's somebody out there for everybody, but I guess it's up to us to uh, let them in or shut them out. You know, it's just really up to us, you know, what do we really want in life for a uh, significant other or something like that. So, again, I do believe now there's somebody out there for everybody, and I do mean everybody. Because if somebody can find love in this woman right here, then we can find love in anybody. Real talking. Like I said, um, I got to give that young man much credit. You know, I can imagine how he's feeling. You know, I seen some of the comments on it. And um, pretty much everybody, like, you know, just brought tears to my eyes. You know, I ain't going to even lie. I was a real grown-ass man. And, shit, I got a little choked up, you know. And still trying to hold back, you know, because, uh, well, like I said, what's fucking me up? I didn't know this chick died. That's the first time I saw the whole video. I did not know she died, man. You know, and that's, man, that's that's hard, man. That's hard. That's hard for anybody, you know. Uh, so, I again, I can imagine what their brother go to. But at the end of the day, y'all, hopefully this will show anybody who is taking this video serious like I am that, Man, if you got people in your life 
like that. Not like they're saying of condition, but like that that you really love, that you truly love, that your boo thing or your fiance or whatever, man, you know, man, y'all cherish that shit. Real talk, cherish that shit because um, you could be here today and gone tomorrow. Same thing can happen with us. Just like it happened to this young lady right here. Two days later, she died of her man's arm. Man, that's a hard pill to swallow, man. Real talk. Um, I, I can't say no more because I know if I keep talking about it, man, I'm going to get emotional about the shit. So, uh, man, as always, share your thoughts and... Um, <laughs> Woo! Y'all take care of yourself and each other. And um, catch y'all next video. Catch y'all next stream. Peace out. <laughs>